Blessed be the name of the Lord. We thank him very much. And as Brother George said, that we are people. We do thank God. The years go by indeed. We are going through trials and issues. And through many sorrows, we will enter eternal life. Blessed be the name of God. And we see what the Word of God read about. You need to do your best to present yourself to God as one approved, a workman who does not need to be ashamed. This is where we need to stand, to the Word of Truth, to speak and uphold that Word. And of course, today there are doctrines that uh, have taken these beautiful na names. They are using these words. And you may ask them, what are you? I am an Orthodox. Are you following Christ as the, the gospel wants you to follow? You are my friends, the Lord says, if you do what I command you to do. I'm not calling you uh, servants anymore because the servant does not know what his master is doing. But I'm calling you friends. And why are we friends with the Lord? Because we are going to act according to his commandments. I don't want to be liked by people. And some people, as long as you say to them what they want to hear, and, they com and they, you compliment them, they like them. They like it, and you become their friend. But the man of God, and as we see in the Word of God especially, the prophets in the Old Testament, that is, the kings that remain in the Word of God, the people that were preachers, they hated them. They threw them away. They casted them out of the cities because they said the truth. They have spoken the truth. And that is why the men of God, the people of God now, are studying so that they may be able to walk with Christ. And that is why we are coming to the church. We are not standing in our houses. We are not staying home. We are not using the internet to just uh, not come to the church. If, of course, someone is sick, if someone has an issue with his health, of course, we have the ability to bring the Word of God into his house through the internet, through the Word of God uh, website. There are websites and, uh, and radios, uh, so the uh, frequencies that uh, do pr give the Word of God to people. But I, I'm not supposed to just stay at home. I cannot just stay at home and leave the house of God empty. The, the place that God has given me empty, that beautiful place, that throne of God on earth, I need to come to the church. I need to study because we are students of God, of the Lord. I need to bring my Bible and I will bring my markers with me so that I can note down what I will hear because we are studying the Word of God. And Apostle Paul says that I consider all other things to be useless in front of the power of God. He thought of everything else as being useless. And he had many, much knowledge. And he has studied all these things of this world, the philosophies, the religion. But he said instead that I consider everything else as being useless in front of that power of God, that wisdom of God. And we are standing in front of that beauty of the wisdom of God, His everlasting wisdom of God. Because the Word of God has not been written by people, but by the Spirit, through the hands of people. The Spirit of God has written down these words, and these words are leading us up until this day. The words that we are listening to today, the Word of God says that the words that you are listening to are the truth and the life. Aren't these words the words of Apostle Paul? No, these are the words of the Spirit and whatever you see in the Word of God, whether that is in the Old Testament for our edification, for our teaching, so that we may see past examples to be tried, and whether that is for the new, in the New Testament for our salvation, our doctrine. And we are not coming to the church just to hear and go out and say whatever else we have in our, in our heart, but we come so that we may hear and study. Of course, we are testifying in front of people. But when someone comes to the church, 
because we have testified to him we will be there imagine now if you would testify to 10 20 people just one person and for him to come to the church eventually and look around to find you not seeing you where is George where is Michael where is the person that was there and he comes again on Thursday he's not seeing you maybe Friday where is he he spoke to me but he's not in the church that he spoke to me about but instead we are coming to the church of God we are coming so that we may give a good example even so that my brother can see me I'm here and we had businesses we have issues we had things to do Peter said we left all things behind we followed you there's no one Christ said that the left uh, fields or mothers or family or wives or children or businesses but I need to do this I need to work I need to work from early in the morning until day, last day uh, late at night so that I can see money fl flowing in what about your spiritual bank though the Word of God says bring your talent at least bring it to the bank so that I may receive it with interest how when are you going to use it but I have businesses now I have things to do I'm busy allow me be I bought a field I have things to do now I've bought a business I've, I've set up a store I'm working from early in the morning till late at night but God invited us so that we may testify his word he called us so that we may work for him not for me to see my bank account grow more and more because we can see banks are closing nothing is remaining until 2026 by the end of 2026 we're not going to be able to have cash anymore and the Antichrist is going to use this number he's going to take these numbers the children of God are becoming holy and holier they are studying what the Word of God and they would be taken and the trumpet of God will be heard and the body will be transformed that body will be transformed and will be dressed in mortality in in the last moment in the last minute and God allowed me and I uh, was able to experience that beautiful godly miracle when I was firstly uh, when I was a believer first I wanted to be sure that this is what God wanted me to do and I wasn't even believing my own mother it was very difficult from 13 years of age I was in sin and I wouldn't believe or trust anyone my ex fiance said to me that I uh, she was uh, loving me but I didn't believe her I believe that anyone who came close to you 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 probably want something from you when I heard about Christ when that miracle happened upon that mountain I was searching I was looking to the left and I was looking to the right I was reading the Word of God I was studying and God allowed me to believe uh, with that New Testament that is very to, from Trebella and I was looking at the ancient text and uh, right next to it I was seeing the the translation and it was very different how can that be I said there's a problem I was asking brothers the brothers six months straight for questions I wanted to make them understand that I am the the uh, the educated one and I was asking difficult questions and they would uh, they would laugh and they would reply and they said that you need to go to that chapter and you will find the reply and the Lord came and he uh, replied and and I said these people know uh, the Word of God very well but it was the Spirit of God it wasn't uh, especially very very uh, professional or very uh, knowledgeable but it was the Spirit of God when they were speaking about other things they didn't know what to say but they went when they were speaking about the things of God their face was uh, shining and I remember a brother when he didn't know how to reply he didn't say another any question any answer rather do not be hasty pray just on a on a on a pad he, he said I'm gonna ask 
an elder, an old reply. And he will reply, and the reply was from, uh, from the gospel of God within. What are you doing today? Are you uh, misjudging the people of God? The elders that the Lord has placed in the church? And he says that anyone who accepts me, he accept, accepts them, you accept me. And you are disregarding them? We're going to uh, be standing in front of the, word of the throne of God. We ourselves are instruments of not good use. And he casted all peoples out when he wanted to resurrect the, the daughter of Jairus. What about all the disciples? No. Just Peter and John. Why, Lord? Because they have faith. And we need to ask for faith today. For the Lord to edify us. So that we may not see with these things, with these eyes. With these fleshly eyes. Because God, people are seeing the what uh, what the logic says but God sees the heart no one says that we finished a university so that we may be able to preach the word of God but the workers of God are praying and the one who's giving the words is the spirit of God we know very well where we've been taken out from we only re we were supposed to receive death and even if we do all things that we're supposed to, the whole, whole word of God, we are worthless still. Are you doing all of them? Who can indeed say that I'm doing all things? Is there anyone? And even if you do, you need to say that I am a useless worker. How can we do all these things, of course? We have many issues. We have many problems. We are making mistakes every single day. We need to pay attention with our ways to invite the presence of God so that it may rest in us for the Spirit of God to dwell in us and the Lord is seeing hearts and we were in Livadia the other day and we were studying the Lord went to the, the disciples to, to the Pharisees house and that woman that was set free from the demons went there as well so many sins and with her own tears, she washed the feet of Christ. And now the Pharisee, if, she on, if he only knew who that woman is, you think that Christ doesn't want who each and every one of us is? All things are clear in front of the eyes of God. He knows us very well. What are you thinking about? When we enter the church, we, we are all standing in front of God. And God is seeing and He understands to thank God. And that Pharisee was thinking, if he was a prophet, he wasn't in his mind he wasn't even a prophet. Because Christ was uh, famed for the miracles that He has performed. Small villages, small amount of peoples. And he said, let me invite him as well. He probably is a prophet, he said. But he didn't invite him understanding that he is the Lord of hosts, that he is the one that God has sent for the lost sheep of Israel. That woman now understands what happened in her life. She now understands the sin that, has, that was lifted above her. And now with her hair, she's sponging uh, the, the feet of Christ and she pours incense and mirrors. But that man is thinking differently. That Pharisee is thinking in a different way and we need to pay attention to our mindset keep your mind and your heart because through your heart all things in your life come be careful about the things that come into your mind any thought that is coming into your heart is not from the Lord the man is listening to the voice of the Lord but he's also listening to the voice of his heart and the enemy be careful do not be led astray do not listen to the voice that wants you to be going differently to the word of god instead follow the cloud and the lord will lead you through the desert and we can see the lord is shining upon his servants his workers and they have results they have fruition and from that fruition you're supposed to understand what the tree is like if you go out in a fig tree, to a fig tree, if all the figs are not good, 
Are you going to say what a good fig tree is it? But they are rotten, the figs are rotten. But if you go to a fig tree with nice figs on, on it, you will say, indeed, this is a good tree. And this is how the person of God is, the person that has a good relationship with the things of God, a good family. But what are you doing? I'm going to go in a different direction. I'm going to follow my mind. Instead, you need to keep your mind away, your, the ways of your heart away. We need to examine ourselves. And people are boasting, please, Lord, help me out. Save me from this, the, the quiet, the inner sins, the sins of my inner person that I don't understand. And sometimes we think that we are, but we are not. And you are the people of God, says the Word of God. You are supposed to work together. And Paul says, he speaks about many different names of uh, servants of the Lord. I'm going to work by myself. I don't need anyone. I will do as I want. I will do as, as, as I please. But you need to wait, brother. You need to wait. We are going to, to the radio. We are speaking. And they are saying to us, Lord, peop, uh, don't reply to the questions. Give, them, give these questions to someone in the early hours of the radio so that they can reply. And we do so. We are obedient to thank God. But he, someone else may say, I'm not listening to anyone. I will do as I please. If thousand people will be asking me, I will answer. What are you talking about? Are you sure that you know all things? Do not become teachers because you will receive greater. Uh, you will be judged worse. And, and you may, we may think that we are in the church now three or four years and we know all things. But instead, we need to study. We need to learn how to walk with the gospel of God. And that gospel is not something, the word of God is not something for me to just say. But we are supposed to pass the exams and we do thank God for it. Brothers and sisters, the word of God says you need to do your best to present yourself to, to God as one approved. You're going to go through trials, through issues. You're not, going to, you're not supposed to say, I'm giving up. And we are seeing people, I'm scandalized. Blessed is the man who is not scandalized in me though. Why are you scandalized? Did God did anything to you? But He brought you to the church. He brought us to the church. He's, he, brought, he, he baptized us in His Spirit, not because we were worthy of it, but because He was good. And as I told you, one night I was praying and I was saying, no, no I wasn't baptized in the Spirit yet. And I said, Lord, I want you to show me your power. I didn't know what I was saying. I was uh, very young in faith. And I said, Lord, I want, you to, I want you to show me your strength and power. For the confirmation of all these things that I was seeing. That spiritual life. People were, sub were stirred up against me. And I was asking from God. There was no one else for me to ask for. And, to, and I would kneel down in my, uh, in my room. And I said, God, I want you to show me your power. And that was about 14 to 15 days. On the 13th or the 14th day, a power came upon me. As if you uh, placed so many votes on me. It didn't, I, I didn't do me bad. I wasn't. And that voice spoke to, out to me and said that this is the Spirit of God. I knew about the Spirit of God, of course. I knew about the, the, the talents. I knew about the tongues. I asked about all these things. About the Spirit of God. But I didn't understand. I didn't know it yet. And that power came. That very hour. And He's departing my inner person from my outer person. And I felt like a bird. And it would lift me up. A great power. And I felt like I was a, a branch in a tree. 
I wasn't able to see the body. I was just able to see uh, the, the things. I wasn't able to see anything else. And I said, the Lord, how, I'm gonna, how am I supposed to, to come down from here? I said, and he brought me down eventually. And he showed me that he's alive, that he is resurrected. And I said this to a friend that we were searching uh, that we were searching out for the word of god together and one day in uh, in a house as we were hunting the prayers and it's good for us to open up our houses as the spirit of god tells us we need to do open up our houses how much more are you supposed to have your house you won't have it you won't have it for too much longer we're going to be taken and the Antichrist will give out houses. Your house will be left behind. But the, the carpets are going to be ruined. They, all these things are going to stay behind. All will be taken. Open up your house. Serve from what you have. Serve the Lord. Call your brothers. Let us have a meeting. Let us have a gathering. Let us have a coffee. Let us speak about the things of God. But I have things to do. I was uh, vacuuming the whole house all day and I'm exhausted. What are you going to say to the Lord, brother? What excuse are you going to have in front of God of that day? And we were in a prayer back in the beginning of my faith, a few months. And a sister had a very nice talent and the Lord was speaking to each one of the brothers uh, name by name. And there were some brothers that had a very hard like a, guy, like a kid. And the Spirit of God was speaking on a different tone according to the heart of the person. And I was amazed by it. And my time came. And I said, Lord, we're not worthy of anything. And he said, my son, I, because I was thinking about what God has shown me, the power that I have given you, have shown you, is like a, a, a drop in the ocean. The power that you have shown us, Lord, is only a drop in the ocean. What kind of God do we have? What powerful God are we having? What is He supposed to do? What is He going to do? He will do more than what we ask for. Miracles. He's a God of miracles, God of actions. He ordered and the Red Sea parted so that His people may move forward. And now the, the scientists see now the, the lines from uh, the chariots in the bottom of the sea and they say that people went through this land people went through here can these things happen we have such a god though these things do happen we do thank god a workman who does not need to be ashamed do not be ashamed of the truth i don't want to say no to him no you're supposed to say the truth you're not supposed to be ashamed of the truth i am the way the truth and the light no one comes to God but through me and people are boasting how many bottles of alcohol how many cigarettes they smoke how much they have sinned and the child of God sometimes is listening to these things and blessed be the name of God we and I was broad I couldn't I couldn't do anything else but I was broad uh, in an instance and they wanted to buy things that were for fasting let's say and they were giving out 80 euros 100 euros and I said where are you finding these things I asked uh, he said I have some people that are known to me and and they are stealing from a company and they are bringing them to me cheaper and I said these things belong to someone else and then you're going to use them to please God and eat and fast and fasting let, let us not even speak about fasting you're not fasting because you're not supposed to even eat when you fast but they were amazed are you not going to take they're cheap no when I fast I'm not eating and thus the fasting that's why fasting the fasting has so much power a woman, a, a mother fasted for six days and God saved uh, two, uh, both of her sons from drugs. I was smoking so many years, three packs of cigarettes, 
maybe five when it was going out every single day who's going to save you the lord just one day of fasting and if the lord sets you free you will be free indeed the lord is able to set free and christianity is an experience it's not for us to say uh what the, just read out a few verses and of course we're not uh, judging anyone but people are coming out and they are speaking out in uh, tv shows just bringing out verses but have you experienced god can you tell us what he has done in your life but the people of god have experiences every single brother you may ask or sister they know about god they have experienced god in their life he has acted miracles in their lives and we are called by god these latter days to call out to people what god has done in their lives but i'm not able i'm busy do you know how busy i am be let us be careful be careful of the things of this world because these things that is a tra are a trap that will let lead you to be left behind is that what god invited us for and he said to naman is it time the the prophet rather to his assistant is it now time for us to be rich or gain possessions is it the time all things are confirming that the lord is coming to receive his church all signs have been complete what are we waiting for sin has reached the boiling point it's overflowing now and someone was uh, uh, in sorrow we said in the church that we are worse than sodom and gomorrah is anyone uh, thinking that this is not the case all these things that are happening today never happen in Sodom and Gomorrah things that cannot be understood we see them we hear them and some of them we don't even hear them they, they are they are forming gangs even children are not safe anymore then they're, they're not controls 13 years of age the child goes out of the house and someone said we're not worse than Sodom and Gomorrah where are you living brother are you, are you not living the present don't you see what is happening around you Lord even though he was righteous because he was listening and hearing and seeing all these things he was tormenting his soul there was seen yes the angels went to 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 visit Lord and the Sodomite uh, people wanted to to have them out and molest them and things are way worse than, than than now and many pastors are saying this that this is the case now are you seeing angels outside you think that we are living in uh, in paradise because people have a nice manner or they know how to uh, conceal their feelings and they are dressed well they are trained and they have now degrees but they don't have Christ in them they they are washed they 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 are used in speaking nicely but when you talk to them about Christ they they aggravate I don't believe in him I don't believe in God I don't believe in Christ but now we are talking about someone who is a workman who does not need to be ashamed and who correctly handles the word of truth and we avoid godless chatter we are not supposed to come here so that we may chat about godless things we are bringing the word of god close to us and we ask ourselves what is the word of god saying about this and even if we have uh some issues and i remember back in the church in nikia we were there 20 years we would go to uh brother nicolacopoulos someone who had the talent of god when he came to understanding the word of god and i heard the word of god speaking through him and i we went to the brother and he would uh, reply and we would say amen and brother louis used to do that as well we may had a different opinion we are peoples someone understands it that way and someone else understands it this way and someone may be speaking but brother louis let brother nicola Coppolis come and s t t tell us what the word of god has to say and uh, it was a piece of God in our hearts it was beautiful because brother because we are supposed to be obedient to the ones that God has elected above us brothers that have walked with Christ many years God has for people that God has used 
Sister Aglaia had two commanders for the work in Greece. She didn't know who they were. Two commanders. She never came to the church yet. She was the aunt of my wife. And she comes into the church and he sees Brother Louis and Brother Nicola Coppola. These are the commanders that I saw. The Lord has people, has tools. And we see the examples and we see the, the work that he have done. And I, uh, I went to, to uh, one point in the world, visited YouTube uh, to see a different, someone uh, different. Uh, to sp uh, and he was speaking uh, and I wanted to see what he was talking about. And he said that today a worker of Christ has departed his life. And that was the day that Brother Louis died. And he has done more work than Apostle Paul even. Apostle Paul came, he brought the gospel of God to us, he um, tore down the idolatry, the idolatry here in Greece. A great work indeed. And he, um, and ch churches were created, but today when brothers and, when our brothers and sisters uh, went out to preach, uh, now we have now 120 churches in Greece, and I've never thought about it, that our brothers acted in uh, worked more than apostle paul did greater things and we don't understand it today we are going through different areas in greece and we see churches and we know how these uh, churches were created uh, in platamona the brother of a sister now they're not in life anymore but uh, but someone uh, came after them with a weapon they had a difficult time speaking about the word of god but God broke the, his heart. He wasn't believing anything. His uh, child went to the U.S. and uh, and he wouldn't reply to the messages for many t hours. And uh, his wife said, "We may lost the child. You need to to kneel down. You need to pray to God." And there were no cell phones back then, of course. And his heart broke, and he said, "God." the one who was uh, going after the brothers with a weapon, if you exist, please have the child reach out to us. And as he uh, rose from the knees, the, the phone rang. He said, Father, I'm good. I'm here. The Lord is able, God is able to perform miracles. We do thank God. God is going to perform miracles. I'm going to do much more than what you ask for or think about. And we are screaming out, and this is what we say, open up your houses and, and invite the workers of God in them. Do not talk to your child and insist, because prophet in his own place has no value. He's not appreciated. Instead, call a worker of God, and you will see the good results. We have seen all these things, that's why we're talking about it. And we are in the work of visiting many, many years now. And we have seen the miracles of God in that work. You will go out and you will uh, bound the, the powerful and you will steal. You will take away what is his. I will be with you until the end of times. When the child of God goes, Christ is with them. The workers of God go, Christ is with them. And he is bounding the powerful. And he's able to take all these vessels that he has in his house. He's able to set free the people that were captive. Was it that easy? And someone else may be trying for so many years. And he says, oh, my son or my daughter, I'm trying this and that. And God, Brother, sister, open up your house. Call the workers of God and you will see good results. And a brother was insisting that his son would believe. And he was struggling for his children. My son, Lord, he would go to his child and he would insist again and again and again. And the Spirit spoke out to him. And he said, my son, do not speak to your son about me, but speak to me about your son. Speak to the Lord. Do not insist. Do not, be, do not make someone uh, aggravated because you are t talking and talking and talking. He will see us on the road and avoid us. But I'm doing a good deed. I'm working. And we went to a uh, house and, and, we, and we said, is your, is your child uh, here? 
call him out. Fifty years of age. I am speaking to him. He's crying. It's enough. Sister, bring your child out so that we may meet him. It's okay, brother. I am speaking to him and that's enough. And her brother was with us, older than me. And, and he said, sister, let me ask you this. Are you listening to your husband? If he's telling me good things, yes. Is that what the word of God says? In Titus, he says that you that the elder women are supposed to advise the young ones to be clean and all these things. You're supposed to be a friend with your husband so that the word of God may not be put to shame. The word of God will be put to shame if I do if I do not hear to my husband. Yes. Because the Lord loves obedience. And the, 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 the obedience to the commands of God will, will reap great results. But I have the Spirit of God. And the Spirit of God is leading me. The Spirit of God is leading you. But the Spirit of God will never have a different opinion of the Word of God. Are you going to listen to the Word of God? I'm not allowing a woman to preach. If you can throw that paper out or that verse out, then do it. But this is not proper. And we have seen many things. But I am, my husband uh, doesn't, is not, uh, didn't go to any university. I did. But is God looking at the degrees or is he looking at the obedience? Or is he looking at your, uh, you, your will to listen to the word of God? And we need to be obedient. We need to bow our heads. I don't need to say many words, but I need to instead show my obedience with my love, with my obedience to God, with my me doing the acting according to the commandments of God. If the worker of God wants to speak in the house and no one's allowing them, he wants to speak about the word of God, but no one's allowing them. People that do not know about Christ. I remember a, a priest was coming every every month. And when the priest uh, start, started speaking, all people would stop speaking. But the people that are listening to the people that the people that are listening today are uh, baptized in the spirit today, and that is why we need to receive obedience so that the spirit can work in us. May the Lord bless us. I mean.